Hi, my name is Paula Police, and I am standing in the main foyer of Worcester Historical Museum. Behind me is an enlarged black and white photograph of Main Street Worcester taken in the year 1910. If we zoom in more closely, you will see some interesting things that our city had way back then but are gone, and other things that still exist today. At one time, our downtown had streetcars that were powered by electricity from overhead cables. Carriages pulled by horses and a few cars such as the Model T were a popular means of transportation, but many businesses such as dentists, coffee shops, and banks could be found in the downtown area, so people could easily walk from one location to the other. Notice the clothing worn by men and women back then, derby hats for men and big flowered hats for women with long dresses and long coats, and everybody got dressed up to go downtown. To the right of City Hall on the corner of Main and Front Streets, the words Harrington Corner were etched on the exterior of this building. Although many of these buildings have since been torn down and replaced by newer structures, the building with the words Harrington Corner still remains intact. See if you can spot this next time you travel downtown. As you can see from this urban landscape, Worcester was transformed in the century since the canal opened from a rural agricultural community to a bustling city with diverse economy and population. With multiple railroad lines passing through town by mid-century, Worcester had become the go-to place for conventions and high-profile speakers, creating greater intellectual diversity and worldly awareness among all sectors. When this photograph was taken in 1910, Worcester had become a powerful industrial city, a process set in motion by the Blackstone Canal. Let's move into the Fuller Gallery, better known as the Industrial Gallery, where you can see many things that were made or many businesses that were started right here in Worcester. There is so much to see in this room, but I will share just a few interesting items with you. This black hat was not worn by Abraham Lincoln, but he did wear one very similar to this. This was made right here in Worcester, and inside there is a label describing the texture of the hat and the company name. This tool is known as the monkey wrench. It was a popular tool in the 1800s and 1900s, invented and produced right here in Worcester by the Coase brothers. It has one fixed and one adjustable jaw, eliminating the need to have a set of heavy wrenches in various fixed sizes. Note that this tool is very much in use today. These 19th century versions of today's mousetrap was made along with guns and lots of other things in downtown Worcester before the Civil War. Here you see a reed organ made by the Worcester Organ Company. Worcester factories made many of these popular keyboard instruments along with several other musical instruments such as the coronet and the parade drum. This health food cereal known as shredded wheat was commercially produced right here in Worcester in 1895. Believe it or not, this is the way they would have shipped the shredded wheat to our area. Unfortunately, this particular company has since moved to Niagara Falls. But if we move into the next room, this is the way you would probably see shredded wheat on your breakfast table. Next time you go to the supermarket, see if you can locate it. I have one more final thought worth mentioning. In 1969, when the astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made the first successful moon landing, they were each wearing a special headset that provided clear and reliable communication with mission control on Earth. This equipment was made right here in Worcester at David Clark Incorporated. When Neil Armstrong took his first step on the lunar surface, these memorable words could be heard by the entire world. That's one small step for man, one giant leap 
for mankind.